Good work, liberals. Your constant climate hysteria is now terrorizing an entire generation of children. Instead of being concerned with the boogeyman or monsters under the bed, a top Democrat said global warming is starting to worry her kids. They've also given us a model to become our own leaders. And let me tell you what it means to, to me coming in as a different generation. I remember my middle child waking up with nightmares over concern around climate change. These are the type of experiences that we are going to bring as we continue to push to meet the, this moment of challenge for the yeah. American people with progress. But it is no wonder the children are scared. Climate guilt is all the rage now in the media. A Washington Post analysis piece telling the story of one mother who, quote, couldn't shake the feeling that by giving birth, she might be doing something bad for the earth. All right. So your child wakes up from a nightmare about child climate change. Wouldn't you agree that fears about climate change are probably something that a parent instilled in a child, Greg? Yeah, the, uh, uh, a wise man coined a phrase called narrative poisoning. And this is apocalyptic poisoning. She's poisoned the child's brain. Uh, that inst Imagine instead of your, when your kid's crying, saying, oh, actually, there is a monster hiding under your bed. <laughs> Good night. Because <laughs> that's exactly what this is. Right. You know, there is a monster. He's going to come and kill you in 10 years. And the kid can't process this. But we're now assuming that kids can just take on anything. Like, they can understand apoc apocalyptic uh, predictions or gender affirmation. Like, kids can understand their own sexuality yeah. at six. We are like, we, it, it's all because we've allowed p political ideology to poison what is essentially a parent-child relationship. Hell, if you, I mean, if you agree with mom, I mean, murderers, they're environmental heroes because for every victim, yeah. they pull two carbon footprints off the planet. Yep. Good for them. Putin invades Ukraine, 200,000 dead. He should be like, he should win the Nobel Prize. Not Nobel Prize, Nobel Prize. <laughs> All right, Jessica, you're ba Chloe, Cleo is a year old, and are you weighted down by the idea that your child is simply adding to the devastation climate change that will create and the carbon arithmetic on the cost of her birth? I wrote that earlier. I don't know what it means. <laughs> I don't know what it means. <laughs> Are you devastated? See, the, here's the problem. When I write notes, I can't read them because of this. Uh, are you devastated and worried that, by, that uh, Cleo is now creating a climate disaster? I'm waiting for her second birthday to start talking to her about <laughs> the, the implications of her footprint. The diaper footprint is crazy, though, yeah. how much yeah. waste those things create. Yeah. But um, What should we do? No more uh, Those cloth ones are disgusting. I'm not doing that. Yeah, but uh, what about detergent? Isn't detergent a pollutant? So you're constantly, like, you're, 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 the like, you can't wash like, clothes? Like, like, what's the, what's better, disposable or non-disposable? I don't know. I have to ask somebody You're the else mother. Who, she has a dad, too. Maybe he knows something. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. No, but there was something else in um, what Representative Clark said that I thought was interesting. She said, she was talking about the climate stuff, but then she also said when we go to a movie, sometimes they feel like there's someone in the movie theater with a gun. And that, that stuff is real, that kids, because they do these active shooter drills yeah. and they're overwhelmed by the gun violence, that's something that I so wish that our kids knew nothing about and we need to do better as a society that they are exposed to that. All right, Dana, are you going greener this season? Are you giving greener gifts? And are you throwing Here's away Here's I'm going greener. Paper? I'm not getting a tree. Because <laughs> it's not just there's so many one? trees everywhere. I don't need to have one in my apartment as yeah. well. That's how I feel about that. Um, <laughs> I also, I agree on the, on the school shooting thing. I, I do, and I, I, I hear that. But I remember, it's, and it's not just the parents, when they go to when kids go to school, that's when they get all of this climate change stuff as well. Mm -hmm. I remember a few years ago, a friend of mine told me that their kid was very upset, going to bed, reading a bedtime story to them because their bed frame was made of wood. And in school that day, they had learned that America is cutting down all of its forests and we're going to ruin the planet because we're cutting down wood. And she didn't want to have a bed like that anymore. So it's coming from them at, at, at lots of different angles. But this is what I'm worried about. Are these kids going to grow up and be the ones that are trying to throw tomato juice on a Van Gogh? Right? Is, is, that, where the, is that where this leads? We have to have perspective. And it's a, if the schools are going to be a problem and the parents are going to be the problem, then I guess every child in America is going to have to watch The Five.
Mm. Okay. All right, Jesse, there's something called echo anxiety. And according to The Lancet, 59% of kids between the ages of 16 and 25 are seriously concerned about the effects of climate change. Makes sense. Jesse Jr. ripped off his bib this morning and said, Dad, I couldn't <laughs> sleep last night. Knowing that Joe Biden has a security clearance. Mm. I said, I understand. He said, no, you don't. His family's under investigation for foreign money laundering. How is it that the president has access to our most sensitive secrets? I said, son, I get it. And then I gave him some Robitussin. <laughs> Knocked him right Knocked out the next right. night. <laughs> now, am I allowed to criticize this woman's parenting? Yes, go right okay. ahead. Because some would say that she's a bad parent because you're supposed to raise resilient children. You're not supposed to raise children that run out of a movie theater or cry about the weather next century. So I'm going to do something as Julie Doan. I'm going to volunteer to help out here. <laughs> oh. I'm going to offer to take this congresswoman's child under my wing and mentor this child. I will perhaps do active shooter duty at a cineplex so they have the confidence next film. <laughs> Or maybe tell them about climate gate. Remember how they fudged the numbers to make the mm -hmm. temperatures look they were going in that direction? I'm willing to do that. And I also did a deep dive on this woman. I couldn't help it. Did a deep dive. She grew up in New Haven. Parents, obviously, librarian, father, Nixon voter, Republican attorney. Typical New Haven situation. <laughs> and then the parents what? and the whole family went into this very strange direction. I only did this because this woman's the next Pelosi without the charm. She's a real high riser. You're going to be seeing a lot of her. Hakeem so, Jeffries is the next. Yeah. No, she's a whip. Am I allowed to say whip? She's a whip. <laughs> yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.